Welcome to FS17 Heavy Rescue on the Goldcrest Valley map. Today we will be using two brand new tow trucks made by Wood Meadow Farming including the 2018 Western Star Tandem, 75 ton rotator and the old Mac Wrecker here with a homes bed. We will be responding to a few calls for recovery work. We've just received a call of our overloaded pickup truck that has crashed off the side of the road. Let's hop in the Mac and head out. Both these trucks do very realistic winches and new type of winches as well. And I can't wait to put those to work here. And this is a great video comparing the old technology, which is this old Mac, and then the new technology, which is rotators. Now it's nice to see the evolution of heavy record work and it's pretty awesome uh, to have a variety of uh, tow trucks in FS17. FS19 is just around the corner, just about a week left here until it's released, and I can't wait to make videos there with it, but I will have to say I, I will continue to do videos here in FS17 until everything does get converted over. I hope all of you guys are having a great day. My day is going good so far. And I hope all of you guys are excited for all of the very cool videos to come here. We do have some more awesome FS17 videos to come. And then it's FS19. A new farming series will be started. And I already do have some very great video ideas. Looks like police and fire are on scene. I'm excited to be back here with a Heavy Rescue series. I really do enjoy this series. It's pretty awesome. And I do have some plans to make this even better than what it already is. It looks like that is one very big pallet. The wheels are cranked hard to the right. And he must have just lost control going back and forth. Probably speeding as well. But from the looks of it, we should be able to get the winch to the hitch or even to that pallet. And just drag it right up and over. That should work. We'll give it a try. If not, we'll try it. Uh, a few different tries but we should be able to get it big shout out goes out to win mono farming for all that they do here in fs17 mod wise they make amazing mods and i really do appreciate them it's so cool using these mods and all the other ones they've released including the skid steer and just so many different trucks and i just appreciate all the hard work for the, these mods you guys since we got the chain wrapped all the way around it that should work here and we actually are now able to control the winch speed we could do a nice slow winch which i will much prefer or, or we could do a very high speed one for now i think we'll start off here with a slow pull and you guys can see just winching it right out one of the most realistic winches ever and windmill farming has been doing amazing jobs as well with finding new ways really realistic ways to do uh, different things We are now attached to let's kind of just get pulled out here into the street just a little bit. Looks like we have to actually crank the wheels the opposite direction, but wow, this first call here went by very easily, and having this winch was very helpful, or else it would be pretty hard to get this up, and I will head back over to the shop. Very soon we will be switching over to the snow season here for these heavy rescue accidents. I think having accidents in the snow is a bit more interesting because there are so many different types. You just have uh, people sliding into each other, not making it up hills, and we will be doing some cool things like that. So stay tuned for all of those. And we are just now receiving a call of a flatbed truck that has uh, crashed off of a bridge. Well, let's head over there in the 75 ton wrecker. That will be our biggest vehicle here of today and I will be setting up a brand new shop as well it's going to be a pretty realistic shop with a realistic yard have some broken trucks in the background and things like that
This 75 ton rotator is amazing. It's a very expensive piece of machinery, but like I've touched upon, this is the latest and greatest technology here in the towing world. And the Holmes Wrecker is pretty cool. I really do like that mixture as well for the video, but uh, this is going to be pretty awesome. The company color for our Heavy Rescue series will be red. I think red is pretty awesome and possibly we might do like a black boom or a few things like that. But for the most part, I think red trucks with like a black bed would be a very nice thing. And the bridge is right over here. Let's see if we see it. I don't really see it. And I now start to see it. And there is the emergency vehicles. Whoa. This will be a bit tricky. Definitely require the rotator. As we are taking a closer look at it, it's actually right over here at a few train tracks and actually the load. Take a look at those straps. I'm very surprised they are still holding that. Uh, the others broke off. We actually will be picking this up with a rotator, I guess, with a winch. We'll put a chain around it. So we'll be able to get that back out. But whoa, this truck, the undercarriage is destroyed. Looks like he was texting and driving from the police officer. You definitely don't want to do that. That's very dangerous. And this is a prime example of what can happen. Now, I really would like to get this truck in a one position move that way we don't have to stop and reposition the truck so i think we'll try to get the truck as kind of far back as we can this is probably the furthest i would like to go and uh we'll now get the truck set up I really do like how we actually have to run the winch lines as well. Now, that is a pretty awesome thing. And I would try to go right over it, but we also do have light posts over there. And those aren't going to be good. And uh, we do not want that. All the strobe lights on this rotator are pretty awesome. We'll have to hop up here and see if we could uh, grab a hold of it. And looks like I actually got a hold a little bit too high. Can we get a, a hold of it down below? And perfect. That should help us out a little bit more. And this is a, going to be a very long pull, but uh, the rotator should be able to handle it. And we'll just do a slow winch speed. You can see all of the weight transfer on the rotator. And let's get zoomed back here to keep an eye out. This is definitely one of the most realistic heavy rescue videos here on the channel. I really do like these, especially these new winches really do make it pretty awesome. Now you do have to attach to like a piece of wood or a pallet other than that though I mean they are awesome. The rotator is pulling this truck up like it's nothing, and that's awesome. I mean, it's an expensive uh, wrecker, and it does an amazing job. That should be good just about there. Next up, we got to get that pallet. That will be a bit tricky. We should be able to do it, though. We are going to have to reposition a few times.
I'm thinking we will try to do it from right here. We don't really want to be lifting on the bridge, but luckily this pallet isn't too heavy because uh, it's not really the best thing to lift right on the bridge. The bridges are not designed to take heavy loads, and uh, we don't want to damage it, but uh, this should be fine. We are just dragging this right up the side. It is working though, and uh, like I've touched upon, big shout out goes out to Windmill Farming. They have been making awesome mods for a very long time. They're amazing map and all of these, and I really do appreciate it. If you guys haven't already, I do recommend you go follow me over on Instagram. I will be posting daily updates for you guys, especially we will be doing lots of streams for FS19 now. Since this isn't really that heavy of a load, let's get this extended out and we're just going to drive forward slowly. I mean, it's not that heavy and the pallet's going a little crazy on us, but that's okay. And we'll put it right back now on the uh, flatbed. And there we go, very successful here, getting it back, especially getting that load as well. And it looks like it wasn't punctured, so uh, it looks like you could still use the fertilizer, which is a big bonus for the uh, client here, because fertilizer is pretty expensive nowadays. And we'll just get that strap back down, and we actually have to draw up this extra axle as well. This is going to be a bit heavy. Fertilizer is always a bit heavy, but having uh, a big truck as well doesn't... Uh, add to it and going to have to fix the wheel rotation I'm not sure exactly what's happening there but that's okay and that last load there looks like it's still holding so we'll keep it as is and we'll head back over to the shop but if you do have any cool ideas here for the heavy rescue series please let me know down below in the comments I definitely would like to kind of do like a TV style series that would be a pretty awesome thing and I have changed it from doing one call to multiple calls per video and we'll definitely do more like that The emergency vehicles will clear and that will be it for that one. The main goal for the Heavy Rescue Series is to get the roads open as soon as possible. Now both accidents we've responded to today were off on the side of the road and we just got to get them cleared that way there's nothing on the side or on the road and we did a very nice job with that. And we got to use a very nice a variety of vehicles and I like I've touched upon I really do like how we use the old homes and that was kind of what started the heavy rescue in a real life and now we are using the latest and greatest the most expensive a tow truck you can buy which is a 75 ton and it's awesome though to use these and like I've touched upon amazing job by wood metal farming they are uh, really make awesome mods The truck is doing a nice job as well. It really doesn't feel like it, anything's on the back. And this was a great job to break it in. We did a little bit of boom work. Not too heavy. Not an actual lift. And I definitely want to respond to somewhere where we actually lift a vehicle up entirely and move it. And uh, that would be pretty cool. So if you do have any cool ideas here for the series, let me know down below in the comments. Your feedback is greatly appreciated. And I enjoy responding to you guys in the comments. And that is also great to interact with all of you. And we are back here at our headquarters. Like I have touched upon, stay tuned for a brand new series. It will, will be a brand new shop with a variety of vehicles. But thanks for w watching today's Heavy Rescue video here with the 75 ton rotator and the Holmes Mac. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and subscribe for more.